right. 2.2 Operations with Rational Expressions Part 1. What we're doing here is we need to be able to work with rational expressions when multiplying and dividing. So when multiplying or dividing rational expressions, you need to follow the following steps. Number one, factor, including common factor whenever possible, meaning that you must look for common factor first, then factor the remaining polynomial so that later on we can use those factors. We use those factors to state the restrictions. Now, we state the restrictions at special times, whenever there's a denominator. Whenever the denominator is zero, it creates a restriction. A restriction is like a license to be able to cancel. Now note, when dividing rational expressions, you have to remember to multiply by the reciprocal. That means you flip and multiply the second rational expression. We'll see examples of this. Now, that also goes back to part two at the beginning where it says state restrictions. Anytime that there is a denominator, you must state that restriction. And again, we'll see examples of that through this so you'll understand what I mean by this. Part three, you need to reduce the rational expression by cancelling factors. And we're going to look at examples of where you can and cannot cancel. All right, moving on to the first example. The first example has a simple product of two, uh, of, sorry, of two rational expressions. And the rational expressions here have, are simplified to the point of factoring. Now, what we can do is multiply the numerators together and the denominator, state the restrictions. You'll notice the restrictions are here. And the restriction means that the denominator x cannot be 0 here. And then what we can do is cancel. We take 48 divided by 6. That gives you 8 and 1. And x to the 5 cancels with x to the 2, and that gives us 3. Note that when you write this out for the teacher, make sure that it can be read underneath, the values can be read. Use a different color to be able to cancel so that everything can be seen to ensure you get full marks. The final answer is 8x to the power of 3. This is the final answer to the rational expression that started off like this. Next part, part B. If you have the following examples as such, you will need to note there's a division. So division means that we are going to change this to multiplication and flip the second rational expression. What will happen is you will have the denominator, this denominator, and eventually this will become a denominator. So we actually have three denominators. For example, let's look. 10ab squared over 4a times 12b squared over 15a squared. Now we will state the denominator restrictions. a cannot equal 0. That's the first one. Next, a cannot equal 0 and b cannot equal 0. And we will have those restrictions listed shortly. What happened here is we first multiplied the numerators, multiplied the denominators. This is what we got. And then what we can do is Again, before we cancel, we must have our license. So our license says that provided that a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0, and note where it's listed, right next to the question, or it can be found immediately underneath the question. Please make sure you put the license so that it is easily visible in a box right at the question or right underneath the question. Anyways, back to this, we got our license. We have a cannot equal 0 and b cannot equal 0 because this was a denominator. And once we do that, we can cancel and we will get, all right, we will get the following. Ready? 2, let's just hold on a sec. Here we go. We will get 2b to the power of 4. Why? because 120 over 60 is 2, 
and b to the power of 4 is at the top because there is no b's to cancel and there will be an a squared on the bottom when we cancel the a with the a cubed. Now note, why are these three highlighted? Remember that these were denominators and we have to make sure that we state the restrictions for all the denominators. Alright, moving forwards. Next step. We have something a little more complicated. Here comes a product, but this time we have some addition going on inside here. Well, that means we need to factor and including common factor in order to have a product because you can only cancel when there is a product. So we have a product here and now we need to create a product here and here by common factoring. In the numerator of the first one right here, we can get, take out a. a times a plus 2 divided by 3a times 20a squared divided by 5a times a plus 2. Once we do that, that will allow us to cancel. a plus 2 will cancel with a plus 2 as well as this a can cancel with this a and 20 can cancel with this 5 and one of these a's can cancel with this a. So we have a bunch of things that can cancel but before we can cancel we must, that's right, state our restrictions, get our license. Our license says that, okay, a cannot equal 0, a cannot equal 0 again, so we only state that once folks, and then a cannot equal negative 2. Now, remember we want it in order. So even though this is correct for now, you're going to be you're going to find that it should be put in order. So the best common practice is to put it in order right away. So negative 2 and then 0. Now, those are our restrictions so we can now cancel. We have our license to cancel. So we're going to cancel the following a plus 2 with a plus 2. And slowly, folks, we're just going to go through this slowly. One more time. a plus 2 with a plus 2. Next, a, this a, with this a. 20 with 5 to get 4 on the top. And a squared, one of these, will cancel with this whole a here to leave us a on top. So what are we left with? We're left with 4a on top. And on the bottom, we're left with the number 3. Now, another way to approach this is as follows. Here we go. So one more time, just so that you saw that. There we go. There's all our cancel steps. We're going to now do another way. Ready? Here we go. So we could have written common factor, the numerator, and common factor, the denominator of the second one. Next, we will get 20a cubed times a plus 2. So what we did is multiply the numerators across, multiply the denominators across, and then proceeded to cancel because we have our license here. All right, and we will get 4 over 3. a cubed will cancel with a squared to leave us a on top, and the a plus 2s will cancel as well. So that will leave us 4a over 3. Whether you do it this way or the method earlier, you will get the same answer. So not to worry. The whole point is that you follow the steps mathematically and they look quite, and as long as they're mathematically logical, you will get the full marks. Moving forwards. Part D, 2x squared minus 8x over x squared minus 3x minus 10 divided by 4x squared over x squared minus 9x plus 20. What do we do with a question like this? Well, factor by common factor in the numerator, factor the denominator, nothing to factor over here, factor this expression, but don't forget that we're going to change the division to multiplication, so that means this piece gets flipped. Once we state restrictions, remember there are three denominators, so we will need to state the restrictions for this denominator, this denominator, and this, which turns into a denominator when we change it to multiplication. So, what are our restrictions going to be? What's our license? Well, let's find out. 
common factor of the numerator of the first one, we get 2x times x minus 4. This bottom, the product is negative 10, the sum is negative 3, so we will x minus 5 and x plus 2. Then we change the division to multiplication. N the numerator now becomes the denominator, which is 4x squared. And the, num the numerator of the new expression is going to be x minus 4 times x minus 5. Well, how does that help us? Well, now what we can do is state our restrictions. We need this restriction, this restriction, this restriction, and don't forget the restriction of this numerator as well, which was a denominator. So x cannot equal negative 2, which is the lowest number, then 0, then 4, and lastly 5. So these are all our restrictions. We have our, we have our license to cancel. We can now cancel. We, cancel by, we can cancel by taking 2x and cancel with 4x squared to give us 2x in the denominator. The x plus 4 cannot cancel with this x plus 4, even though you want to, because one has to be on the top and the other one has to be on the bottom. So what else can we cancel? Well, we can cancel x minus 5 over here. So x minus 5 cancels. The 2x cancels with the 4x squared to give us 2x. So what are we left with as our final answer? Well, that is x minus 4. How many of them? That's right, squared. There's two of them. Divided by 2x times x plus 2. And that is the final answer for this question. Okay, moving forwards. Let's look at a little bit harder. Ready? Here we go. So there's our first one, our second one, our third one, and our fourth one. And we're going to divide. What does that mean for us? Well, what we're going to do is factor these, change it to multiplication, flip and factor these as well. So our license is what we definitely need. We need the license. X cannot equal certain numbers. What two numbers multiply to give you 60 and add to give you negative 19? That is negative 15 and 4. 5x minus 3 is negative 15. And 2x times 2 gives us negative 4. So negative 15 and negative 4 gives us negative 19. And that's the numbers we want. That's our oi. Let's go on the bottom. What two numbers multiply to give you 30 and add to give you negative 11? That is negative 5 and negative 6. So negative 5 is 5x minus 1. And negative 6 is going to be 3x and minus 2. Now, how come I'm getting all of these numbers and how come it's not exactly the way we want? Don't forget, I can only take 15 and, sorry, negative 15 and negative 4 from 10 and 6. As well as here, negative 6 and negative 5 from 15 and 2. So the products of those somehow have to give us those numbers that were those special numbers. Over here, we change it to multiplication and we're going to take the bottom and bring it to the top. Common factor first and we can factor that later. Common factor the numerator which is now the denominator. So don't forget common factor first. Once we do that, we can state the factors of that second one, but we have to rewrite the first one out. So we change it to multiplication, and we're going to factor this. What two numbers multiply to give us negative 6 and add to give us 1? That is positive 3 and negative 2. So it will be 2x plus 1 and 3x minus 1. So that our oi is negative 2x plus 3x. On the bottom, what two numbers multiply to give us negative 12 and add to give us negative 4? That is negative 6 and positive 2. All right, so these are all the factors. Multiplication, don't forget that this was up here a denominator at one point. So let's give, get our license. A license says x cannot equal, let's see. 2 over 5, 
We're just going to start with this one, 2 over 5, 1 third. Next, negative 1 half, 1 third, which we already have, negative 1 half, which we already have, and 3 over 2. So rewriting all of these in order, we write the following. Ready? Negative 1 half comes first, 1 third comes second, 2 fifths comes third, and 3 halves is last. So x cannot equal those values. Now what we can do is cancel. We cancel these two right away. And then we cancel 2x minus 3 with the other side. We cancel 3x minus 1 with the other side. 2x plus 1 with the bottom. And also the 2's cancel. So everything got canceled. What, folks, do you think is our final answer? Oh, yes, that's right. It is 1. Everything cancels. The answer is 1. Think about it. As everything cancels, there is nothing left to cancel. Something to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Cool. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of the day, end of the video. Have a numerical day. Take care.